Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed your Google calendars into other sites. This is an update to a popular video that I made a few years ago on the same topic. There's been some changes to Google Calendar in the years that have passed. So let's take a look. I'm here in Google Calendar. And over here on the left hand side, I've already selected the calendar that I want to display. You can see I've checked it off over here on the left hand side. And as I hover over there, there's a little menu that I open for settings and sharing. There's my fall 2019 course calendar. And down here on my access permissions, I have it available to the public and I have it set as see all event details. You can also make it show only free or busy. Now, I should point out that if you're in a G Suite for Education domain or you're using G Suite for Business or G Suite for Enterprise, it is possible for your domain administrator to limit you here to prevent sharing this publicly. So if you see that grayed out, talk to your domain administrator. So I'm going to show this one as all event details. And I can hit get shareable link, but that'll give me just a link. I want to get the embed code. So I'm going to scroll down a bit further, and I'm going to find the embed code for my Google Calendar. Now, I can customize it, and in the customization, I can change the size. You see over there on the left-hand side, I can make it not quite so wide. It gives me a little preview as soon as I change those dimensions. I can turn on or off any of these little tabs, and I can change the default views of it as well. I'm happy with this sizing. I'm going to copy that code. Just copy that. Now I can copy and, and paste that code wherever I would normally display any kind of media, like a video or a podcast. So let's go and embed this now into a display. Let's start by doing this in Blogger. In Blogger, I can put it in a blog post or I might put it into a page. I'll go into Pages. I'll make a new page and I'll call this the simple title of Calendar Page. Switched over to the HTML mode and now I can publish that and we can see my calendar displayed right in that page now on my blogger blog. There it is, calendar page. Now you notice it's cut off a little bit on the right hand side there, so I might want to go back in and edit the size just a little bit. And I can certainly do that just by going right back to where we were before and editing that out. Now, I also have this option here in WordPress. So WordPress blog here. And I'm gonna add a new page. You could also add your calendar to a blog post, but I like to add them to pages because they're not going to get pushed down the page over time. So, let's call this a calendar. And just to the left of that writing field or typing field, let's select custom HTML. Paste in my custom HTML, let's preview it. And we see my calendar there, and we can publish it. And I can make it public immediately. And away we go. Now, that process will be the same whether you're using WordPress on your personal server or you're using WordPress uh, hosted by somebody else for you. You'll be able to do that same process. Now, of course, if you're using Google Sites in your school or in your business, this process is even easier to do. Let's take a look at that next. So if you want to embed your Google Calendar into your Google Site, the process is really simple. Just go to the Google Site that you're working on, maybe this one here, and we want to add a new element to this. You see, I already have my calendar there. I'll take that one out for now. Just delete that. 
let's add in a new element. Well, the new element I'm going to add is calendar. I can pick the calendar that I want to use. I'm going to use Mr. Burns Fall 2019 course calendar. Hit the insert button and away we go. Now we can change the view by just clicking and dragging on the sides of it. Make it wider, smaller, even reposition it to center it up on the page. Now viewers can go in and they can click the various options for week, month, or agenda view right there as well. Now again, if you don't want to have all events shown, go back into your calendar settings and change it from see all event details to see only free or busy. Change it back. So that's how you can embed your Google calendars into Blogger, WordPress, or Google Sites. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.